Hello, my name is Dale Worsing. I've been an officer of the Tacoma Historical Society for 20 years or so. And among heritage organizations here in the city of Destiny, the Tacoma Historical Society is a Johnny come lately. Uh, the Washington State Historical Society, on the other hand, dates back to uh, 1891 when Benjamin Harris was, Harrison was president. Uh, and uh, we are often confused uh, with that organization. Uh, but our group, Tacoma Historical Society, was founded in, 18, in, in 1990 by a small band of lovers of T Tacoma history, people who knew the mountain's proper name was Tacoma, uh, who knew that the center of our universe was Ninth and Broadway. It's uh, fitting and proper for uh, Tacoma Historical Society to observe its 31st anniversary uh, this year. So uh, welcome to our 2021 awards event. And uh, uh, our society has three major awards. Uh, and uh, uh, one of them is um, the uh, Allen Little Award. Allen was a premier architect uh, uh, here in Tacoma. Uh, civic act activists, and if you like Tacoma Skyline, uh, uh, say thank you to the uh, uh, late Alan Little, who, uh, who almost single-handedly uh, kept the state from tearing down half of uh, uh, downtown and replacing it with a uh, freeway spur. So, so it uh, gives me a great deal of pleasure to uh, uh, call on uh, Kathleen uh, uh, Brooker and uh, uh, announce that uh, Historic Tacoma is the uh, recipient of the Allen Little Award. Uh, I, I will simply uh, tell one of my uh, short stories that uh, go back maybe 15 years, uh, Historic Tacoma was getting organized uh, with a lot of uh, guidance from uh, Sharon uh, Winter. And uh, some of our uh, members were very concerned that uh, it was a uh, competitor that uh, we had to worry about. Uh, I, on the other hand, was delighted to see it uh, get organized. I am not a particular uh, expert in uh, uh, historic uh, buildings and uh, historic preservation and uh, uh, welcome that organization as a, a fellow uh, laborer in our vineyard. Uh, and uh, with that, uh, uh, Kathleen, uh, ask you if uh, you'd like to say a few words. Well, first of all, thank you so much, Dale. We are just honored and delighted to receive this award. Um, and I, I appreciate your going back and remembering, you know, the beginning of Historic Tacoma and how we were going to work together and find a way forward uh, with the Historical Society. And I think that has really come to fruition. You know, it takes people and their places to make Tacoma the wonderful city it is. And I, I love that we can each focus on aspects of our heritage that bring that story to light. Um, you know, Historic Tacoma has a mission of educating, advocating, and preserving. Uh, and we are currently focused on a number of initiatives that expand that mission to the whole city and not uh, where we started in the North End, um, is a great story, but there are other wonderful stories. And we're now partnering with Tacoma Creates to work in the McKinley and Lincoln neighborhoods. And we're very excited about that initiative going forward. We've also been able to expand our website so that it's interactive and put up a, a watch list that we find really valuable in guiding our advocacy. 
And that's open for anyone to uh, submit nominations to, and it helps, helps us be alert to what's going on around Tacoma. Uh, so I invite all of the listeners today to go to that and consider what they'd like to see preserved because there's a lot of change afoot uh, in Tacoma and not just around individual buildings and advocacy that we continue to do, but overall, how shall the city look as it grows? Um, you know, how can we incorporate density without losing our character? And these are big issues and they'll take all of us to become engaged with. Um, so with that mission in common, we thank you for this recognition and look forward to the next decades of work together. It is my great honor to announce that the recipient of this year's Murray Morgan Award is Tamiko Nomura. She was nominated and selected for her ongoing work over many years to document and share the stories and histories of people of color in Tacoma. Uh, I want to give a few different examples and then congratulate and, and turn things over to her to say a few words. Uh, but I first became aware of her work with tours of Tacoma's Nihon Machi or Japantown, uh, which then uh, culminated in a free smartphone app, which allows people to uh, take self-guided tours of that part of Tacoma and learn more about that history. She has written several articles for historylink.org, which is freely available to citizens to learn more about our local history. Uh, and then two recent books as well, uh, one which I actually have right next to me, so I will hold up, uh, which is a biography based on oral histories that she conducted with uh, former state Senator Rosa Franklin. And her most recent, which I'm excited to have come out soon, uh, I can hold up. Uh, it's currently appearing in excerpt form in the latest issue of Columbia Magazine. Uh, we hereby refuse. It is a graphic novel sharing stories of incarcerated Japanese Americans during World War II. So uh, as you can see, many examples of her contributions to research and writing about local history. So congratulations and uh, please share a few words with us. Thank you so much to the Tacoma Historical Society. I've really appreciated the support from Michael Lafreniere and you, Kim. In this era of heightened anti-Asian racism, writing from this particular city where Chinese and Japanese Americans have been evicted, it feels particularly significant to be recognized as an Asian American woman for my work about the histories of my adopted hometown. I want to thank people in Tacoma who trusted me with their stories and supported me in my research, including Senator Rosa Franklin and the Sangha at the Tacoma Buddhist Temple. I'd also like to thank Michael Sullivan, Jennifer Ott, and Justin Wadland for mentoring me in my public history journey and my family for supporting me. I hope that this recognition opens more doors for BIPOC people in Tacoma to be writing more BIPOC Tacoma histories and stories. At its best, public history really is about making sure that all of our stories are heard and documented and remembered. Thank you so much. I'm Bill Barsma. I have the honor of serving as the president of the board of the Tacoma Historical Society. A few years back, we created a new award to honor a Tacoma historian and former president of the Tacoma Historical Society, Dr. Ron Magnan. And we knew that Ron would want us to, uh, to honor and recognize volunteers, the people who, who really spend hours uh, of effort and make a true commitment to uh, keep Tacoma's history alive through the Tacoma Historical Society. This year has been a challenge for us. Um, it's the pandemic year and, it's, and uh, you know, it's been a challenge for getting volunteers and we understand that. We understand that challenge. 
but one person has uh, been dauntless in her, her commitment to volunteering for the Tacoma Historical Society. Uh, each and every week, Jelly Waldron uh, comes to us and works with our staff, assists and tasks uh, on a weekly basis, almost without fail. In addition to that, uh, you know, we had a, a few a few months ago, a virtual fundraiser, something we never tried before. We're all kind of on pins and needles with this work. And uh, she pitched in and helped us with that, uh, helped us with the auction, donated items, and even, even uh, uh, bid on a few items as well. And she and her spouse uh, were kind enough to actually loan us uh, some artifacts for our current exhibit, honoring the history of music in Tacoma. So, so uh, we, our awards committee, could not think of a more perfect choice uh, than Sh Shelley Waldron. So, so uh, uh, again, uh, Shelley, thank you so much for your for your commitment to uh, to uh, Tacoma Historical Society and uh, helping us keep Tacoma's uh, history alive. And uh, again, thank you and uh, congratulations on being recognized as this year's recipient. And I know Ron Magnan would be proud. Thank you so much, Bill. This is such an honor and I love being a part of the Tacoma Historical Society and helping to preserve and present Tacoma's history to our community. It's such a wonderful and interesting past and it's gonna be great for people to see everything in our new exhibit that we have and the new space that we have and everything that, that we have to offer. Well, thank you, Shelley, uh, and uh, to be a, a part of the action, so to speak, and to help us uh, in every way that you can. Uh, you've been such an asset uh, for us. Uh, I might just note to give you a heads up, uh, year after next, it turns out, will be the 150th anniversary of Tacoma becoming the terminus of the Second Intercontinental Railroad. We're, we've got big plans in store. so. Uh, we're hoping that you'll be able to continue with us and be a part of that uh, that celebratory event uh, in 2023. Thanks again, Shelley. I can't wait. Thank you so you much. Thanks. Thank you.